So as you guys all know, the Unique and Gakwe situation is never ending and it's very confusing. Um, you know, whether, you know, it starts off with the last off season, the Jaguars wanted to sign to a long-term deal, weren't able to. And now Unique and Gakwe has no interest in playing for the Jaguars. He's made that very clear, um, you know, whether speaking to the media or his endless Twitter posts and, you know, the Jaguars franchise tag him and, you know, the latest thing came out is that Shad Khan does not want to trade Yannick Ngakwe. And really, it's so interesting with Shad Khan because, um, you know, when he first took over the team as owner in 2012, he made it clear that he wanted no part in the football aspect of things. He was going to leave that to the football guys to make any decisions. And uh, so he didn't do that. But then obviously in 2017, he hires Tom Coughlin to kind of almost play the owner role in the organization and kind of let that be the final say of all football operations. Um, obviously that didn't work out and now it looks like he's actually playing somewhat of an active role in the football side of things. Um, and like there's reports that now like he's, he's one of the main ones holding up this trade. And it's just weird because I guess now he's kind of playing a role in this, but Denik Ngakwe, I mean, it's, I would, I would obviously, I would love to keep him on a team, but I don't think that's a possibility now because, I mean, this, he would, he would look dumb himself. Like his ego would take a shot just because he's talked so, he's said so many bad things about the Jaguars. Um, and, you know, just to go back on them now would be like he's backpedaling big time. Although, like, I don't see him sitting out on a franchise tag because I think the guy made like under $2 million last year you know, in this final year of his rookie contract. And then all of a sudden he's going to skip out on 17, 18, 19 million uh, next year. I don't, I don't know what the exact number is, but, you know, obviously he was playing under a third round pick contract, which is not very much money. But, I mean, it doesn't seem like defensive ends are getting the kind of value that they have in the past. I mean, you look at it and right now, Jadavion Clowney does not have a deal. And Jadavion Clowney is an unrestricted free agent. So you don't have to give up draft capital for him. You just sign him. But he keeps lowering his number and lowering his number, just waiting for a team to sign him. And he remains unsigned. And the thing about trading for Unique and Gakwe is that not only do you have to trade away draft capital, you also have to know that you are going to have to sign him to a deal. You know what I mean? You're going to have to give him a pretty decent deal after that. So there's a lot tied to the Unique and Gakwe thing. Um... So, I mean, we'll see, we'll see what kind of, we'll see what we can get for him. But I mean, I've, I would obviously like to keep him just because when you look at it, man, like if you could, if next year we could start off with Unique Ngakwe and Josh Allen on the other side as our defensive ends, I mean, that's a real de defense you can build around. And, you know, we got to get to the point where we can stop losing all of our really good players, whether it be Al Robinson, Jalen Ramsey, Dante Fowler, uh, just all these guys that we, that, that have come and all these guys that have left. And, you know, there's a lot more that have left than that have stayed. And all these guys throw dirt on our name. So, I don't know. It's just, uh, it's not an ideal situation to be a Jaguar fan. But, uh, you know, we'll continue to see what's going on with Unique and Gakwe. I'm at Popeye's right now. Dude, the chicken sandwiches, nothing to, nothing to play about, man. They're good as hell. I got like four, so I'm sitting outside right now. But anyways, not that you guys care. Go Jaguars.